institutional risk landscape, cyber attacks are escalating in scale and impact, increasing the costs of fraud, theft, and disruption for organizations across the world. In 2019, cybercrime will have an estimated global cost of $2 trillion. Executives that have never experienced a cyber threat might think their enterprise is not at risk. But in the new reality, the question increasingly faced by companies is not if an attack will happen, but when. Protecting financial data and transactions is critical, as skilled hackers use increasingly sophisticated tactics to commit cyber crimes. Some of the most complex methods for compromise combine technical computer and network attacks with social engineering techniques. This can include impersonating a CEO using email or social media, and even duping employees into being unwitting accomplices. Increasingly, we are seeing multi-vector attacks using advanced tools against targeted and well-researched victims. A holistic approach to managing the risks posed by cybercrime and fraud is essential. From a treasury perspective, every organization is only as strong as its weakest link, and cybercriminals often look to exploit weaknesses in a company's broader ecosystem, including their external partners. For example, frauds have occurred where supplier systems were hacked and bank details on invoices sent out were changed. To help minimize potential damage from cyber threats, City recommends a three-pronged approach that utilizes people, processes, as well as technology. First, protect your organization with preventative measures and best practices to mitigate risk, things such as strong authentication and entitlement management. Next, take proactive measures to detect potentially fraudulent activity, leveraging employee training and vigilance with robust reconciliation, and respond with effective and timely actions to help mitigate loss through crisis response and continuity of business plans. While Treasury or the finance function within an organization may not be experts in cybersecurity, a working knowledge is needed as these units often have responsibility for risk identification along with management of sensitive data, systems and functions along with banking relationships. Treasury and Trade Solutions online banking channels feature encrypted communication, multi-factor authentication, configurable payment approval workflows, security management reports, and other features to help protect your assets. In 2017, Citi launched a soft token smartphone solution to securely and conveniently generate one-time passwords for online banking authentication in over 90 countries. Treasury and Trade Solutions Innovation Labs have been leveraging emerging technologies, such as artificial intelligence, to launch next-generation features. For example, we're developing capabilities to analyze data in real time to create dynamic controls when anomalies are detected for our client-facing platforms. Furthermore, Citi runs an ISO 27001 Certified Information Security Program and has established cyber fusion centers across the globe to monitor threats and respond expediently. As part of intelligence gathering, City participates in a number of security forums across geographies to learn about the most recent threats and trends. Since we all live in a broader ecosystem, partnership between us and our clients is critical. To that end, we've developed an online client toolkit to share case studies and best practices on managing cyber risks from a treasury perspective as a source of additional guidance for you and your organizations.